Tiffany with GF Mom Certified. And yes, we are on my personal page. But um, hello, Instagram. Hello, Facebook. Hopefully all is streaming. It looks like it is. And the COVID-15, have you guys heard about this? Uh, it's like the college 15 or the freshman 15, right? It happens when we have, let's just talk about why it happens and then we'll talk about ways to avoid it. So the freshman 15, the COVID 15, the, the extra 15 pounds that we tend to put on in body weight anytime our body gets stressed. It happens for many reasons. One is there is normally separation anxiety. And right now, we are experiencing separation anxiety because we are in our houses. We are not able to um, go out and just, you know, give our neighbor a hug or like just go out and have community and hang out with friends and all of that. Like even Easter, I wanted, I pulled the leaf out of the table and then I realized we didn't need the extra space at the table. And it was like this realization, right? Good morning, Jay. And so this extra 15 pounds that we put on starts from anxiety, it starts from stress, and it starts from us having this fear of loss, fear of separation or separation anxiety, as the psychiatrist would put it. Then we start to reach for comfort food. We start to reach for things that remind us of normal. And as my husband pointed out, that is a trigger word for me. I don't like normal. But many, many people want to be normal or they want to be what they thought was normal, right? And therefore, you start to reach for foods that remind you of your childhood, that remind you of community, that remind you, give me about five minutes on this video, that remind you um, of what you want, right? Or you think it will bring you a good feeling. And I had um, one of my spiritual coaches that I work with reach out over the weekend and say, I've put on weight, tell me what to do, tell me how to get this weight off because if this continues and I'm still in my house for the next four weeks, I'm gonna put on 40 pounds, right? And that can be like scary in its own way. So I'll share my own story. I started, um, week one was fine. I stuck with my autoimmune protocol. I stuck with the diet for my autoimmune diseases. I was fine. Week two, I started eating toast for breakfast. Started with bagels, then gluten-free English muffins, and gluten-free toast, and gl just bread for breakfast. I don't know why I don't do that. I have a smoothie, I have water with lemon, I have coffee, and the, and then fruit. That's normally my breakfast. So why was I reaching for toast? And I had to look back and I said, oh, in high school, I ate toast every morning for breakfast. That was my breakfast. Even in junior high, I would walk to school with two slices of toast. By the time I got to school, the toast was gone and I was good. So I was reaching back into childhood for what I remembered. The other thing I was doing, and some of you are laughed because you know me, but I was eating a half a bag of family size yellow bag, right? A half a bag of the family size yellow bag of chips. Yes, they might have been non-GMO. Yes, they were gluten-free. Were they good for my mid middle section? Were they good for my body? No, they're still fried. They're still, they're not great. Okay, so that was a vice I was using in the afternoon and I would sit on conference calls and I would sit on video and I'd just be eating chips and eating chips and then pretty soon I'd realize I'd eat a half a bag of this large thing of chips. And I did that for about three weeks. Last week, the, the, the icing on the cake that made me wake up and say, Tiffany, what are you doing? Then what happened is I had made tacos and I know I'm allergic to corn. I know that corn throws my autoimmune into a raging fit. I know this, I've known this for 10 years. I avoid corn like it's a plague. And I sat down to have tacos and grabbed some organic, non-GMO blue corn chips, okay? In my mind, I tried to tell myself because they were all those things, they would not make me sick. Because they were all those things, I would be fine. And I had my tacos with those corn chips. By that evening, my colon was spasming, and if you don't know what that feels like, many of you, I'm sure, have had a Charlie horse in the back of your calf during sports, during track, during some sort of childhood activity or adult activity. That is what happens to my colon. It starts to Charlie horse up, and it tightens, and it tightens, and it tightens, and it gets super painful. That continued for three days. During those three days, while my colon was just as tight as it can get, not only was I doubled over, I was a complete grouch. I couldn't poop. Uh, I just felt horrible. 
Saturday was the clincher. Saturday morning, I woke up and I couldn't even like take care of the kids, which is a lot for me to be able to say I couldn't get out of bed. I basically got up, got a cup of coffee and laid on the couch for half Saturday. Will said, are you okay? I said, no, I'm not okay. And he's like, what happened? I said, the only thing I can think of is it's the stress and it's the corn. And he's like, corn? I'm like, yeah, I had to admit I had eaten blue corn chips. Yes, Karen, that yellow bag. Uh, that shall not be named is horrible. Um, so Saturday afternoon, I decided I was going to fix myself because I could not do this for the next four weeks or the next six weeks or however long we're at home. I could not live like that. My body was just putting on this 15 pounds and it was shutting down and I was having a flare from uh, my Crohn's disease. Saturday afternoon, I decided I was drinking magnesium water, so I drank a quart of magnesium water, and many of you know magnesium flushes your system. It releases your muscles, like if you're having muscle spasms, magnesium can release your muscles. So I did that, um, drank two 12-ounce glasses of kombucha that we make at home, started taking prebiotic, I took a whole bunch of enzymes, I took a whole bunch of my Just Thrive probiotic, and I went back to straight up raw foods, uh, roasted vegetables and steamed and that was it and so uh, I was I'm trying to think Saturday night it was like carrots Brussels sprouts carrots Brussels sprouts right no dairy no grain none of it um, Sunday morning oh and I took an Epsom salt so Sunday morning I woke up and my colon was fine I didn't have any pain still couldn't poop but my colon was fine so I got up at six started our Easter lunch I made a whole grain uh, imported from Europe flour uh, hot cross bun. I did asparagus, I did more carrots. We had uh, white potatoes, sweet potatoes, I'm forgetting another, green beans. And then uh, we did a ham and a chicken for Will and the girls. Um, so yesterday again, uh, for breakfast, big old smoothie with wild blueberries, uh, dragon fruit, pineapple, Just Thrive's prebiotic in my smoothie, extra vitamin C in my smoothie. Um, that was my morning. Then I had a coffee and then I had another quart of magnesium water. Uh, and then um, all while I was cooking, had lunch, more vegetables. We went for a, a family bike ride, which was fun to get out on my bike with the girls. We had our egg hunt. I ended up doing a second round, a quart of additional magnesium water. So these are things you guys can do if you're needing to get rid of the 15, right? So you can start, if you've already started to put on those COVID-15, you can start with getting some uh, powdered magnesium and doing magnesium water. And if you need to know where to get that, I can help you. The other thing you can do is you can start your morning before you put anything else in your mouth with lemon water. And I've been doing two of these the last two days as well because the lemon helps your liver start to flush, right? And the water starts to just, everything starts to move. The successful news is this morning I finally was able to poop after like four days. Um, it's a great feeling. So start with your water in the morning. Move to a smoothie that's primarily uh, vegetables and fruits. If you want to add some vitamin powders or some liquid vitamin C or that stuff to your smoothie, that's okay. But stick primarily with um, fruits and with vegetables. And so if you look for foods that have enzymes, you're looking at pineapple, you're looking at green grapes, um, honey, if you do honey, honey has enzymes in it, kiwis. So those are things you're going to want to put in your smoothie. If you need a smoothie recipe, you guys comment below these videos and I'll get you a smoothie recipe. But do the uh, the smoothie rest the smoothies and then move to your coffee. So I've been up since five today. Woohoo! Uh, autoimmune disease. I am the warrior and I survive. Up since five, I got up this morning, started with my lemon water, twenty minute workout, a lot of burpees this morning, a lot of up and down, wanting to twist the midsection right? Get that movement going. Uh, keeping up with 20 minutes, even in your house, is also going to help you keep those 15 pounds off. The other thing is you've got to eat living foods, right? You've got to eat things that are still alive, whether they're in a smoothie or whether you're eating them in a salad or you're snacking on them at your desk. You've got to eat living foods because the energy in the living food the, the live food is what's going to feed our cells, give us energy, and keep that 15 pounds off. And so we're going to have to go back to water, right? Six to nine cups of vegetables. 
another four to six cups of fruit. Yes, I know that's a lot, but I have to tell you that at least in the Chicagoland area and where my parents are, which is downstate Illinois, produce is readily available. You may not be able to find toilet paper, but there is so much produce that there is no reason you cannot be doing six to nine cups of vegetables and four to six of fruit. Once you finish your fruit and vegetables for the day and you drink a lot of water while you're doing that, then I want you to feel free to have some legumes. Feel free to have, you know, if you're doing chicken or beef or whatever you're eating, and some healthy grains. Do not feel free to reach for a bag of chips. Do not feel free to reach for a box of cereal or a can of soup or whatever else that is in your pantry because you thought the apocalypse was coming and you went and grabbed all this processed food. That processed food is going to raise your blood pressure because you're already under stress. It's going to potentially trigger diabetes in you, and now you can't even get out to the doctor. And it's going to make you gain those 15 pounds. Don't do it. Go back to what God gave us. Go back to the fruits of the land. Go back to the vegetables. All of that. If you want a $10 off coupon for imperfect produce, again, message me. I'll give you that. Go back to all of those things that we know work the 20 minutes of exercise, the fruits and the vegetables, and the water. And if you go back there, and this is what I was explaining to one of my spiritual coaches, if you go back there and you go back to things that are already alive, the things that have living energy in them, your energy is going to come back. I should have given you a before and after video. If you know, I went like dead on social media there for a few days because I didn't feel good. But if you go back there, you're going to come back with this energy that I have. You're going to be up at 5 a.m. You're going to be able to do your prayers, your workout, all this stuff before the rest of your family even wakes up. And your life is going to be amazing. Like I saw the sun come up this morning. It was awesome. So those are my ideas. I'm going to look at a few of the comments. You guys, it's kind of fun being on Facebook and Instagram at the same time. This is a new thing. So it's kind of cool. Um, magnesium water. Yes, Paris said it's been great. And it comes in a powder. The one that I get is called Mag Smooth, but there's a several different brands. You can get it online. Um, if you've got a full script account through GF Mom Certified, you guys should all have 15% off already. You can order Mag Smooth right there through full scripts. And it is available. Um, it's so good to see everybody this morning. Let me know as well if we want to do a social call. So if we want to do a Zoom and get on and have some coffee or have some, I don't know. I am open to doing a, a community chat this week because I, in last night's call I was on for my planning group for Fab Planner, um, we realized that the video interaction, not just talking to you, but having you be able to talk back and having these conversations are helping fill that void of separation anxiety and it's helping us uh, create connection. So I have actually a coffee chat every Monday at 8 a.m. with another group of women that has been amazing. Um, it's week five, guys, week five, day one of the stay at home order and we continue on. Homeschool, it's all here. The garden is ready to be planted. I am so ready for this last few weeks of April to go so then we can get out and do that. The other thing that can help you if you are struggling with those 15 pounds is getting uh, out in the dirt as much as you can, whether it's a small flower pot on your patio or whether you've got uh, a little bit of backyard and you can get out in the dirt. You're going to help your microbiome on the outside of your skin and you're going to restore that from all of the hand washing we've been doing, but you're also going to help your grounding and your centering and feel closer to God and nature. So have an amazing week five. Let me know how I can help you. And I'll talk to y'all soon. Toodles.